What is going on guys, Scarp80 here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Clash Royale video. So, this video is actually going to be a request, and it will be about uh, Arena 3 tips. So, what we are going to do, basically, is we are going to go into Royale TV, and uh, we are going to uh, take a look at some Arena 3 replays, and we are just going to point out... Um, what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong, what could be better, um, if I would put this in a deck, if I would put anything else in a deck, and, uh, I also made a video just like this, but about arenas 3, 4, and 5, so go check that out, link in the description box down below. Um, so, yeah, let's get started, let's go have some fun, and, uh, let's look at a couple of replays. Alright, guys, so the first replay will be, um, KH8 versus Candela14. Um, let's get started, and it looks like KH8 has the Expo in his deck, so we're not off to a very good start with this guy, but I mean, whatever. Let's see, um, how this guy's playing it off. Um, Skull's Army at the beginning, not the best choice, and, uh, the Fireball, again, not the best choice. It was a even looks at trade, but I think that it could have been a little bit better. And then right there, the Valkyrie and the uh, Musketeer, that was just not a good counter. The Expo was just not a good counter um, for the Valkyrie and the Musketeer. I think he should have probably done something different because the Expo takes so long to just uh, start shooting that it was just it was just not good at all. Um, so yeah, it looks like KH8's deck is not too good. Right there, Kandel should not have dropped the Skeletor Army because, first of all, they didn't even touch the Expo. And second of all, the Expo was already going to die. So what I would have done is I would have waited for the Expo to die, and then I would have um, and then I would have done something different. But because he placed um, the, the Skeletor Army now, his tower is going to get taken out. And... Um, and that's what you get for not placing good troops in the right time and stuff. So, Hogbrider going in on the left. He's going to get quite a good amount of damage. Um, Skeleton Army coming in. And uh, Musketeer should take care of that along with the two towers that are helping it out. Um, so, yeah. Right now, it's kind of like a reset. But Candela is in the lead because, first of all, she has a Musketeer and 1,400 hit points left on the tower. Now, that was a very bad move. Like, why would you place barbarians in front of a bomb tower that was just not good and then the placement of the bomb tower was also not good at all because it wasn't in range of the uh, of the musketeer so yeah now uh kh 8s tower is on f to 490 damage and if Candela wanted to drop the skeleton army in in on in front of the bomb tower then that would have just been a good move but luckily for her um it uh it died first so yeah, now uh, KAJ has a very big push going in, and uh, let's see if Kendall is going to be able to defend. Yeah, taking out those uh, spirit goblins first, but the giant is going to be so tanky for the uh, for the goblin barrel that that's going to be just very very good. And uh, right now he had the right idea. I would have indeed placed my knight to distract the bomb tower while my skeletons were maybe able to get something off. Um, and right now, they should get the tower down. Oh, they got it down to 14 hit points only. And, um, and only 8 seconds left. Let's see who's going to win. It's going to be very, very hard to defend this. Um, because, I mean, the giant and the goblin barrel are just so, so, so tanky and stuff. And that is the end. That is right. That is the end. Um, and KH8, um... His deck was not the best, especially with the Expo. Like, I would not have put my Expo in there. He barely used it for anything, and it didn't really work out for him. And Candela just needs to uh, find better counters and place his cards um, in the appropriate time and not just, like, Barbarians in front of a Bomb Tower and, like, Skeletor Army in front of an Expo. Um, so, yeah, that's what they need to do. And, uh, yeah, it was a fun, fun battle. And uh, let's get on to the next one. Alright guys, so it is time for replay number two. This time it's Clayton against Molinex. Let's see how this plays out. They're both level five. Should be fairly uh, even. And uh, yeah, let's see what they do. Looks like Clayton's rocking some sort of type of giant skeleton deck. And uh, Molinex is using the giant. So he plays a giant on the left side, which was okay. Uh, if he is untouched, he's going to do a lot of damage. And now all, he has to, all Molinex has to do is defend 
on the right side. It looks like that ba that Valkyrie should be able to take that giant skeleton down along with the uh, the baby dragon. I would not have placed my skeleton army if I was Monex because the giant skeleton was already dead and uh, he was uh, and he was able to take down the uh, the skeleton army and it, it was just useless. So the barbarians versus the uh, the skeletons were. I mean, they were a good move, but it was just a super strong push. And now the mini P.E.K.K.A. is just going to be able to do a lot of damage. If Molinex had placed the Valkyrie a little bit sooner, um, then maybe he could have sp he could have saved like 400 hit points on his tower. So yeah, that's one very very important thing: being prepared and ready to place your troops down as soon as humanly possible. Um, but yeah, now on the left side of Clayton's tower, it's only at 69 health, and, uh, yeah, Molex is doing pretty good, except for his left tower, which is also at 476, um, Skeleton Army is gonna devour the prince right away, and, uh, Molex got that tower down, but look at the tower on the right, he placed his Skeleton Army too late, and the minions are going to be able to take this tower down really amazingly low, Mini Pekka coming in, and uh, the mini P.E.K.K.A. should finish the tower off, unless he's able to defend. Oh, okay, so he defended with the witch. The witch is dead, but the skeletons are what are going to be able to uh, to kill the mini P.E.K.K.A. So, in my opinion, right now, Clayton is in the lead because of the health of his towers. Now, I don't know if this guy has any direct damage, but I would definitely put something in of direct damage, like a fireball at least. Um, and right now, Clayton has a very strong push. He, Molinex was just able to defend in the last second, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Baby Dragon, though, is going to take the right tower out. And guys, never underestimate a troop. Never, um, never think that it's not going to do a lot of damage um, because that has been Clayton's error, first with the giant and then with the Baby Dragon. Um, and uh, Molinex's errors have kind of been just, uh, just... I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, Molinex, I mean, Clayton is trying to get the three crown win. And if he had just tried to get the two crown win, he probably would have won. Like, I don't know why he's trying to get the three crown win when the other tower is like at 32 hit points. Like, what? Why? And again, if he did have a fireball on his deck, um, like, I always recommend some sort of direct damage. Clayton would have won the match, um, but it was definitely very, very close. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's hop on to the last one. I hope these have have helped you guys. Um, but first, let's just donate and again and donate again one more time. All right. Um, but yeah, let's find another one. All right, everybody, it is time for the last battle of today. That's right, that's right, that's right. Dab on him is going against Abu. Uh, let's just call him Abu. Um, and Abu's a level 5, and Dab on him is a level 4, so this should be very interesting. Giant with the Musketeer on the right side, Baby Dragon with the Musketeer on the left side. Giant with the Musketeer is going to do more damage, obviously. Um, and uh, this guy's Dab on him is trying to defend, he's doing pretty well, but the Giant. Giant in the lower arenas is just so incredibly OP. Guys, just throw him in your decks. I am in Arena 6 right now, and I have a giant deck. And it works insanely well. You just It's just great. It tanks for all of the troops you might need. And uh, yeah, so right now, Habu has a prince going in on the right side. I don't know why Dab on him decided to just let it go, but it was probably the, good, uh, the smart move. Because... He because Abu had a rocket. Um, the only thing, the only problem with Deb on him was that he um, he wasted elixir a little bit there um, by placing his giant or his giant or his ah, or his baby dragon a little bit too late. The bomb tower placement not the best, not really the best. I would have placed him in the middle. That way it would take the giant a little bit longer to get over there. And now the skeletons against the giant mini Becca versus giant. Mini Pekka versus Giant. Mini Pekka versus Giant. Mini Pekka was able to win because of the skeletons and the um, musketeers. So right now, Abu is doing quite a bit of damage on the King's Tower, but Dabonim is doing a lot of damage on 
both of his towers and uh, that was a very good push again giant musketeer um, push and uh, right now look at the health of a king tower it's not good at all um, but yeah uh, I think that uh, Abu is on the right path right now the giant will get very close to taking on that tower baby dragon versus skeletons die skeletons die he's gonna rocket that which is gonna leave it at 50 hit points and the baby dragon is gonna try and uh, take the tower out but he defended with the giant and the mini becca and uh, minions and stuff like that so right now dab on him is gonna ignore the giant on the right side which was a very bad move um, and that's gonna cost him his tower right there and then the musketeer is going to get the last shot while the rocket was in the air if he had thrown the rocket just one second earlier he would have gotten the three crown victory and he would have won what a great match very very close dab on him was under leveled but he was able to win that match um that was great guys that was great i i do really enjoy making these types of videos for you guys um also, I think that you guys enjoy these types of videos because, for example, my Let's Plays don't get as many views and stuff. So, yeah, that's fun. Um, but, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this video did not help you because, I don't know, maybe you're in Arena 4 or something, then you guys need to subscribe because that means that you need more tutorial videos and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, subscribe if this didn't help. And if it did, give me a like and comment down below. Uh, but, yeah, once again, Scarpady out.